To get started, remove the coupling hub and key from the pump and set them aside. Select the correct size input shaft socket from your kit. You can choose between Group 1, Group 2, or Group 3. Next to each socket, there is a proper size key to match the pump size. Place the key on the drive end of the shaft. Then place the socket on the shaft. Now you'll choose the closed impeller wrench that is the right size for your pump. Line the wrench up with the impeller. Using the impeller wrench protects your hands from coming in contact with sharp edges. Using your other hand, grab the knurled section of the drive end socket and lightly turn the socket to ensure all veins are engaged. Apply either a one inch combination wrench or crescent wrench to the squared head of the impeller wrench. While keeping one hand on the wrench applied to the impeller wrench, take either a one inch combination wrench or a crescent wrench and apply it to the squared end of the drive end socket. Then manipulate the shaft the opposite direction of the impeller wrench until the impeller disengages. You can now remove the impeller wrench. Using the knurled section of the socket, you can loosen the impeller safely until you can remove it from the pump shaft. And now you can continue with pump repairs. When your repairs are finished, you simply reverse the process. Install the impeller with a new impeller gasket onto shaft and turn the input shaft socket forward until the impeller makes contact and is snug. Now use the impeller wrench to engage the veins, using your combination wrench or crescent wrench to fully tighten it. Remove both wrenches. Take off your input shaft socket and key. Now you're all done and there's been no damage to the critical components of the pump.